Hello guys, Major Matt here, and today I'm going to um, show you how to fully customize your Windows 7. So have like a customizable theme, different sounds, um, things like that, and change the sound when it when your computer turns on as well. Um, so yeah, if I just show you, you can just download it from here. Click whichever one you want. You just go and download it. Will take a while. It's not a big file, but it's not a very small file either. So if you have a look, this is what it is. Um, I've just got it on my desktop here, so you can just right click, extract here. And you'll get a folder, it'll say everything in here. And then, in here there's got a lot of different things. So, you don't need the image res. Um, i got some desktop backgrounds. This all make sense when I'm showing you how to do it. I've got Mac sounds as well. I've got some programs that you'll need to do. Need to um, install, take ownership, which you will need. The theme that I'm using at the moment, which is pretty good theme. Change the start bar and other things like that. And universal theme patcher, if you want to have a custom theme, which I highly suggest. So, um... First off, you want to go and do the Universal Theme Patcher. X64 if you're 64-bit, X86 if you're 32-bit. So double-click on the one which reports your um your computer. As you can see, patched, patched, patched. You'll need to click them, and then it will ask you to restart. Um, restart and then you want to go into the theme folder and you want to copy these so right click copy or control c control c go to your computer go to your c drive go to windows go down to resources then go into themes and then you can just paste it in here I won't because I've already got it so I'll just click cancel and then when you've done that it's pretty good if you go to right click personalize and if you go to windows color and you just change the color intensity right down I like I like that and then you can change your desktop backgrounds so <coughs> you can have a blue or a pink one and if you want to change the colors then you can go into photoshop and change the hue and saturation on it if you want which is what I've done to get the blue one so if whatever one you want as your desktop background then you can right click and set as desktop background and then if you want a different one you can just use that but if you want one to um, I'll show you what I mean if you go to tweaks logon when you log on and it'll say like password and stuff like that if you want that to change which is pretty cool you click change log on screen and then you want to go all the way to the folder desktop backgrounds and whichever one you want I'll just choose that one again and it'll say the selected image is too large just the yes and then it will say that and you can test it but if I test it then Camtasia will stop recording so I won't do that but you can test it, test if it works and um... this now I'm going to show you how to change um... when you turn your computer on the sound that it makes not when you log on when you, when you turn your computer on so you, first off you want to go to programs and then double click res hack setup 
and then you want to just go through the installation and you should have a new shortcut on your desktop now uh, real hacker it is and then you want to double click this and then you want to go to your computer again go to C drive go to windows go down to system 32 and you want to search in here for image res image res and you won't have the backup one but um, so I know you don't want to type it in you want to um, go down until you find it um, up a little bit No, maybe down. There we go. Image res, and you wanna um copy it, copy it. So let's copy this, and then you wanna paste it to your desktop. And another thing you wanna do before this is um just before you do that, go back to your um folder that you downloaded and go to um <coughs> take ownership. And you want to um, install Take Ownership, and you want to click Yes. So basically, then every time you right-click, it will have an option that you can take ownership. And this is a very quick way of going through the security and, effort and everything. So the first thing you want to do is on your image res, right-click and click Take Ownership, and that should happen, and then you'll be fine. So once you've copied it to your desktop. I'm going to go to file, open, and you want to click this arrow, go to your desktop, or whatever you have pasted it. And then, you want to search, find, um, image red. Oh, there it was. There. Then you just want to click open. And then you want to go into wave. 5080 40 so if I just play wave now so as you can see I've got um, sunlight hurts my eyes I've just um, taken a bit of that song put it through Sony Vegas and made it a wave file so if you don't have Sony Vegas, it needs to be a WAV file. Definitely needs to be a WAV file. It can be any size, any size, any length. Um, it can be a whole song if you want, but it will be slightly annoying. So if you haven't got Sony Vegas, then all you can, all you need to do is download um, the audio converter, and you can just open this and then convert it to a WAV file if it isn't already. And you can make it make it um, the file size smaller. I mean, the length of it smaller if you want through Windows Movie Maker or I don't know another editing program like After Effects maybe. So I'm just going to. You need to right click and click Replace Resource, and then I'll just open it. I'll just change mine to one of the Mac sounds that I have, which you will have as well. It's in the download that you downloaded in Mac Sounds. So if you right click play, this is what it sounds like. So that's what it sounds like um, when you turn on a Mac. And if you just click open, and here you want to have 10 43. No, you don't know. Wait. Um, no, here you want to have wave. And then you want to have five o eight o. And then here you want to have ten three three. Then just click replace. And then it'll all change, and you just click play wave.
so as you can see it played and it's the same one so when you've done that I'm not gonna save it I'm just gonna close it nope and then you would go back to here and then you would right click on no yeah you right click take ownership if you haven't already and then just like rename it and then put underscore or whatever and then just put backup if you want and because if you delete it it won't let you because if look I'll try to delete it now and it'll say it's um, open in Windows Explorer so you just want to rename it to backup or whatever and then drag this in So then once you've done that, then you've changed that and that should work every time you, um, every time you uh, log on. So then, another thing is, you can, um, if you want to go to Mac Sounds, um, and use the 2, you can use that. Um, if you go to right click, um, personalize and you can just go to sounds and then you can go down to here and where it says windows log on I'll just test that that's what it sounds like when you log on and then you can change this to anything you want um, Hmm. Didn't know I had all of these Mac sounds, but okay. System login. Yeah. Open. So then that's what it'll be like. I'm just gonna click cancel because I don't want that. Um. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Um. Yeah, um, need any help then you can always um, send me a personal message or comment and uh, please make sure you rate this video. If you, if you liked it then like it, if you didn't like it then don't like it, then dislike it. I really want to get some feedback from you guys. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed it and um, see ya. Pain is deep. A silent sleeper, you won't hear a peep.